Yo, yo, what up? It's Brooke Candy, my fucking freaky princess. Brooke the rest of candy, it's the queen of Italy. Not a candy, the price is right. Double D, these are real titties. Lady THC, Betty Blow. The hood rat, Drew Barrymore. I'm repping fag mob all day. Motherfucking faggots taking over the industry. Motherfucking faggots running the world. Ah! The song that we're working on is produced by a good friend in LA. His name's Corey Nita. He goes by Corey Enemy. Very different from the last track that he used. It's like a EDM dance, but I'm gonna rap over it. So it's gonna be very high energy, dancey, very trap, like, trap. trap. There's yeah. a bit of trap in there, trap influences, and it's very like hard. Like it's like I was we did it. We did a rough cut um, a couple days ago, and it's very like blah, 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 like just fast. Like when I envision a fashion show or a fashion presentation, I, I and I know this isn't the case for every fashion, but it would just when I envision it, I envision something fast. I don't know why. So I was like, I want to do something really fast and dancey because yeah, it can also it. then translate, you know, into you know people can like relate it. I mean, it's more relatable and easier to like. I don't know. Get into, get into yeah, yeah. yeah. You party into it. You can get ready to it. So people will like relate his clothes back to the song forever. Definitely Wanted best. to make the best song possible. Uh, it's called Pineal Dawn and inspired by my fantasies of a future uh, sort of rebel Rastafari that are militant and they're sort of augmenting their um, spirituality with like technology and shit like implants into their brain and shit to like be more rebellious against the, the system which obviously doesn't want you to do that and yeah so it's basically my own take on a camo print which is that sort of militant Rasta thing and then you got the line of Judah this is a I'm gonna wear this on the Castle video Rainbow. and what does it say? Uh, oh it line says the line of Judah, of Judah. Yeah. I mean Seth Pratt He'll tell you himself, he makes costumes, so that's what he does. You know, he doesn't have a line, he doesn't, I don't think plan. I don't know if he plans on making a line. I think what he wants to do is he wants to make costumes, like, for videos and movies and things like that. Like, he was, like, talking to me the other day before I came to London about making costumes for Game of Thrones, whereas Alex is a serious menswear designer, so it's kind of like, when well, he's, like, um, he's done full, you know, um, a, a, full, a full line for several yeah. years, so you've like been doing this. Seth is more of just like, yeah, he makes me he makes me things that aren't wearable outside of my performance or my video because they're made of like metal or they're made of like paper or it's like things that look amazing on camera but aren't wearable. Whereas he's making me clothes that I can wear forever. You know what I mean? I can wear this shirt forever. As long as I don't get too fucked up and fuck it up, you know what I mean? <laughs> Which will probably happen. Sometimes. Yeah, it's definitely gonna happen. Yeah. I mean, this is real nice. I'm gonna rip this for sure. <laughs> Chris Murdoch um, is directing the video. I've worked with him before. Uh, he's a very close friend of mine and he's super talented and amazing. He has sent over some things and what do you want to know the concept of the thing? I do. Thing? Yeah. Uh, I only well, know one thing. I can thing. say that it's going to be shot in a strip club in Hackney. Are we doing the hot tub thing? Yes. Okay. And there's going to be lots of hot, hot guys mm -hmm. and you and uh, there's the, like, it's not me with male strippers, is it? No, they're like models. Okay. They're gonna be like your servants. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's proper. Yeah. <laughs> and um, and they're gonna be naked as well. Huh? Oops. Fairly yeah. naked. I want to be the first kind of authentic underground performer to make it in the mainstream world while still maintaining their like philosophies and their identity, ideologies yeah. and like my yeah identity and I want to maintain what I stand for heavily and I don't want to change like most creatives I am hugely influenced by music so even when I'm drawing or when I'm walking on the street I always got headphones on and I always listen to music that I like and obviously the music that I like inspires me gives me I, I actually have a, a, a strange connection with music but sometimes when I listen to music I kind of it kind of creates textures and sort of almost shapes and colors in my mind 
if it's the right song and I'm in the right mood and and that all that stuff is hugely inspiring to me but then it's also obviously a, um, a lot more tangible things like watching a music video and you think oh that looks cool or that's amazing or you know what I mean like you kind of there's deeper things that are sort of more on almost on a subconscious level like you put yourself in a mood when you listen to a song like if I listen to reggae while I'm drawing I kind of get into this sort of reggae mood and whatever I draw kind of comes out a bit reggae right which That's is collection. good yeah well yeah that this is collection it's all like sort of in my I've just been listening to lots of reggae lately basically and dance hall and shit um, That's the shit really yeah and uh, this is why this uh, Red Bull Catwalk Studio project is so uh, important to me because it, music is super important to me and doing this project I actually get to physically mix the two and um, and that's um, perfect for me basically I think this song is really sick this song's fucking sick mm.